Warsaw, I'm from uh, Biotserkva, it's near to Kyiv, I'm from Ukraine actually. Uh, I'm from uh, Kherson, it's the west uh, on Ukraine. I think it's a great responsibility, it's not about a joke, it's a really serious war. And uh, this uh, three uh, days it was very stressing but uh, interesting too. Hello, my name is Masha. I am from uh, Ukraine, especially uh, from Kyiv. And uh, I have just passed the uh, CPR and I'm so <laughs> happy. Good evening, I'm Todd Foster, reporting for Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. This evening, we're going to be discussing the issue of driver's license requirement here in the United States. What is a driver's license? Do you need a driver's license? Is there any law requiring you to have a driver's license? A driver's license is required for one who is conducting commerce on the highways. Now if you're doing personal travel along the highways or personal transportation, there's no law saying that you need a driver's license. Now, I'd like to read to you something here from Bovier's Law Dictionary. One employed in conducting a coach, carriage, wagon, or other vehicle with horses, mules, or other animals. Now, that is Bovier's definition of a driver. There's no mention about personal transportation in there or anything. Now, notice under part three of that definition, it states that the driver must be of good habits for the journey and possess good skills. Because if he's not, and there's an accident or an injury, the driver and his employers Yes, that's right. I said employers are responsible. Now, while the definition of driver does change a little bit over the years, there is a U.S. Supreme Court case, Reno v. Condom, which states, The activity licensed by state DMVs and in connection with which individuals must submit personal information to the DMV the operations of motor vehicles is itself intricately related to interstate commerce. Now, that was decided January 12th, 2000. Now, that is specifically what I'm getting at here, folks. There is no need to have a driver's license for personal transportation. There's no need to have a driver's license to operate your vehicle, to go down to the store to get some milk to go to the bank, to take your kids to school, to go to work every day. There's no requirement. There's no law. It's all it's done all implied that this is the legal way to do things. Now, understand that there is a difference between lawful and legal. Two totally different things. Now, understand another very important issue. The DMV is a corporation doing business as the DMV. What they have done is implemented such methods as a driver's license, vehicle registration, and so on, to extort money from the people under color of law. Now, it's quite simple. These methods guarantee profits for the DMV. Why? Because the DMV is a corporation. It's a very important things to understand. There is no law obligating you to do these things. Personal travel is a constitutionally guaranteed right. Freedom of movement, mobility, or the right to travel are human rights. Understand that. Human rights, not government-given or government-granted rights, not corporate-granted rights. They are human rights constitutionally guaranteed to you. Now, contrary to what the system tells you, 
Travel is not a privilege. Operating your vehicle is not a privilege. However, if you are a driver using your vehicle for commerce, then you're required to have a driver's license. If you're using your vehicle to make a profit or for hire on the highways, then you are required to have a driver's license. Now I'd like to show you a document. This is out of Michigan. This is a document that shows a constitutional driver's license and what it consists of. Now if you'd like to read more about this in detail, you can go to the website listed on the screen. Now understand a very, very important factor here is that drivers are not required to be licensed. Now understand that. If you're a driver or operating your vehicle for personal use, you're not required to have a license unless you're employed or doing commerce. Licensing cannot be required of a free people. In order to have a driver's license, it requires the surrender of a right in order to comply with the restrictions of the driver's license. Does that sound like a free people? Doesn't sound like free to me. Now I'd like to read you something from State versus Spokane. The right of the citizen to travel upon the highway and to transport his property in the ordinary there. course of life and business differs radically and obviously from that of one who makes the highway his place of business for private gain in the running of a stagecoach or omnibus. Now understand that the term driver is a contradistinction to the term traveler. It is very important to understand these terms. A driver is one who is employed in conducting a vehicle. A traveler is one who is on a journey of a personal nature. The system has conveniently segued these things into requiring automobile insurance in order to guarantee profits for the insurance companies. It's very simple. What they have done is required the following. If your vehicle is completely paid off, you still are required to have minimum insurance. No one owns the vehicle but you. It's completely paid off. Even if your vehicle is financed, you're required to have full coverage. Full coverage. Why? You're just transporting yourself for personal reasons. It's convenient for those with a vested interest. But I digress, my friends. That is a whole nother story. Let's take our country back and take back our God-given rights to live in true freedom, liberty, and justice for all. I'm Todd Foster reporting for InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. See you next time.